Hi, today we will see how to use the Sun Masters with all kind of objects which can be loaded in. So we will start with a basic selection of channels and see the different ways to get it into the Sun Masters. So we start with uh, selecting channels uh, with the usual way. So the one the channel, the five through, and we'll see first with the mouse to drag and drop this selection into a sub master. And here, as you can see, you have a load channels uh, option that you choose. And now we can see here a small symbol to say these are channels with no details. If you want to check what is in this uh, submasters, still with the mouse you can right click there and go into edit field 1 which will open this window. Or you can also, from the keyboard, press together the uh, edit key and at the same time the assign key of the submaster. The key with the number of a submaster on the console. And as you can see here, you can see your content and you can, as usual, select change values and exit which means that now if I push my faders up I will see my channels coming up you will notice that they are coming in a different color in orange instead of yellow orange means that it's sent to the output by another way than the playback. It's something to take care of when you will record your stage. We will see that later. So, this is the graphic way to do it. Or, if you want to have different channels in different uh, some masters, let's say these ones with a level. And if you want to do that from the console now, you will press together the the load key and you select the assign button of the sub master you want to send your channels. And now you see on the sub master tube. I have the same symbol saying that it's just channels in that container. So if I clear my playback now and I move my fader to, I can see my channels coming up. So these are the different ways to do it. Um, now that it's done, you may have to modify the content of your fader. So you can just, as I told you, right click, edit, or edit plus the assign key on the console to enter into the content of your submaster and then uh, modify levels wherever you want and just get out. Now, if I push my faders, I see that I have modified my levels here. So this change is quite easy. Another way to modify on the fly, very quick access, is to press the assign key above the fader and you hold it down, which will display the current content of your fader. And here you can, as usual, select anything you need 
and change the levels. And then, when it's done, you just release the assign key and you get back to your normal display. Such that now, if I move my fader one, in which I have just modified some levels, I will see now the change of my levels. This is the fastest way to modify the levels into the master. The next step now would be to use groups into submasters. The group is very convenient because it's something you know and uh, you are used to play with all the time. So, for example, we would like to get some of these groups into our submasters. We just have to click on the group, any, and drag and drop it onto the submaster and load group. And now the difference here is that you can see the, that this symbol means it is a group. This is the group number and this is the name of the group. So now if I move this fader up, I will get the levels stored in my group. Now, if for any reason uh, I need to modify the content of this fader, this submaster, which contains a group. I can do as usual, that means I can press the assign key above the fader to get my content displayed and I could modify something and let's say I want to remove this one, okay? And I release. So now, for sure, I have removed this channel from my submaster, and this red color here indicates that you have changed something in this submaster which is not anymore related to the group. There is now a difference between the content of my submaster and the group I first loaded. So if I want to get them together with the same values, saying that, for example, this modification I made here is the right one and I want to keep it like that, means I want now my group to be the same as this submaster. I just press the assign key of this submaster and together I press update, which open the usual record pop-up window and I have just to press again update and now as you can see, the red color has gone because my group is exactly the same as the submaster. If I see now, I get into my group alpha I have stored there and edit. Uh, as you can see, there is now the 32 has gone. So my group is exactly reflecting what I have modified in my submaster. So the group is a nice uh, way to work into submasters because it's easy to identify, it's easy to update. Uh, now, if I want to clear one or more submasters, uh, I can right click there and choose clear field, which will empty my submaster, or I load it again. I can also, from the console, press together the Alt key on the keypad and then I can select all the assigned keys I want where I want to unload the submasters. So I hold the clear key and then I press assign here 
and a sign here and a sign here. And in a very quick uh, gesture, I'm able to clear all a row of some masters. And the nice thing is that you are quite the same way to do it to load your submasters. For example, if I say one, I press my group key on my console and then I press all the assign keys I need. So I press one and then two and then three and then four, five, six. So, and I release now my group key. So you have just to specify the number of the group you want to start from and then you press group and all the assign keys you need and it will kind of gang load your awesome masters in a very uh, fast uh, gesture. And again if I want to delay that very quickly I can press Alt key on the keypad and again the assign keys where I want to delete to unload the content. Of course doing that uh, it has no consequence on the group, the groups are still there, it's just the container which is a submaster has been emptied. So that's quite a nice way to do it. If you want to uh, rig check something or have your channels in a very fast way in your submaster you can also press one then you press the channel key on the console and you hold down that key and then again you press the assign key and as you can see now I am loading into my submasters the channel one, channel two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and so on. So that's a very quick way to blow, to gang load all your submaster with channels, just to when you want to check your batch or whatever you have to do. And again, if I want to clear that, I press clear and assign one, two, three, four, five. So it's very easy to, uh, to modify. The right thing also is um, in one uh, action you can complete two actions. For example, let's start with these numbers here and give some values. And I would like to record a group of these channels and get them at the same time directly into a submaster. What I can do is I press group and I press any assign key above the submaster. So let's say with the one. So now it opens directly the usual record group. So let's call him uh, 23 through 25 for example and you have just to press again group and the good thing is that in one action you have recorded a new group and it's directly loaded into your submaster one so now if I clear my playback and I bring my fader up, I get my group 12 directly from the fader. So it's a very quick access, How it, it avoids to first create your groups and then load them one by one or uh, into the, the submasters. Last thing we will see in uh, this uh, video is uh, how to use these uh, submasters as a selection. So as soon as you got some groups into your uh, submaster, 
so let's do it again with one group and one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that it's been loaded with these groups, if you press the assign key, it will automatically select all the channels which are in this master. So if I press the uh, assign to, I get only these two channels and so on. So that's another convenient way to have more uh, group buttons on your console. And that's pretty it for all this uh, tutorial. There will be uh, a second episode to complete the submasters topic. Bye bye.